What got me into urbexing was um, mainly the mainly the subject matter. Um, I've been into photography for a long time, shooting a varied uh, varied group of subjects really, um, and it's mainly appealing. Um, it's appealing for a multitude of reasons, but mainly appealing to me. Um, the the uh, here today, gone tomorrow kind of saying. Um, I feel privileged in capturing a lot of it because um, it's limited edition. Not a lot of get people get to see inside these buildings. For a lot of them, that's that's the, the big deal of, about them. You know, they're being locked away from society and um, they're, they're not meant to be seen. Um, so it's an absolute privilege and an honour to get to see them. Um, you know how they are still standing. Um, and all the rest of it, nature taking them over, the beauty in a, in a sad way of them, them being knocked down and, and not being around again as well and having, you know, having them pictures on, on your computer, on your, on your memory cards of, of these structures that, you know, nobody else from, from the second they're luxury flats or whatever they're going to be, nobody else would be able to get them pictures. So that's a big part of it, the limited edition. My interest started in, in urbexing. Um, probably, probably the same answer as a lot of people give to that question is like, um, I was, I was one of them kids that you know, same as, same as a lot, you know, um, an old building in, in the village, you know, haunted tales and stuff like that, creeping around them. Being, being a, a young lad doing that sort of thing, you know, I think it's, it's, it's in, in all of us. From there, the, the. Uh, the importance of it come along of you know not many people get to see it and and you know they've been locked away so you know I, I honestly feel like at the time and, and whilst I'm doing it I'm, I'm doing a job I'm doing an important job of, of uh, documenting our you know our country our society and, and things in the shadow um, yeah legal implications are obviously a, a you know a, a big grey area of, of, of what I do my heart I don't feel like I'm, I'm doing anybody any harm um, maybe putting myself at risk, um, but definitely not, you know, causing anybody any financial loss or anything like that. I run a, a, a portrait business that um, works in schools and nurseries and alongside families, um, you know, capturing images of, of their loved ones. Like I said, they don't go hand in hand. I obviously don't don't go to nurseries and, and explain to them that I've spent time in mental asylums a couple of nights before. Um, you know, I keep them very very separate. Um, for, for a good reason, um, but also to, to contradict that slightly, you know, I, I'd be happy to because I'm, I'm in no way ashamed um, about uh, Bex photography, you know, no way ashamed. If anything, I'm proud of it, you know, I, I feel like it's a, it's a bloody good thing. I'm blessed because I have a very understanding um, partner because I am so passionate about what I do. I've explained, you know, in a multitude of ways how, why I do it and, um, and she, Sammy completely understands and completely appreciates um, why I do it. Um, we, you know, she understands that it's it's not all easy. It's hard work. It's driving through the night. It's early mornings. It's climbing fences. It's being chased. It's a lot of lot of nastiness there. But she knows I put the effort in to do it for for a very good reason. What's the point of her? Yeah, it, it's a it's a load of things. It's it's having a few things and having the images in my collection. It's seeing the things firsthand for myself with my own eyes. It's the it's the you know it's the thrill of the chase. It's everything. It's um, you know the adrenaline of the, of the sneaking in. It's walking out with with them images on, on your memory card and can't wait to you know start processing them and having a look what's come out. 